Hi everyone, my name is Tishan Daika, the head boy of Okia International School Vatala and welcome to Sparkling Okians, a series that is dedicated towards producing science-based content by our Okians. During the pandemic, it has become an excellent time to try out something different and to try out something new. So, in our last episode, the second episode of the series, we looked at how to make a fun toy using rubber bands and cardboard and CDs that we throw away at our houses. In the third episode today, we wanted to make a difference with an experiment done by one of our students from OKI Kiribadgoda. She's here to uh, show us an experiment of, of a phenomenon that occurs every day and it has to do something with metals. So this is Akit Makavindi from OKI Kiribadgoda and she's the experimenter of the experiment that we are going to see today. Uh, hello Nagi, welcome to Sparkling Okians. So uh, what is your grade and what branch are you from? I am in grade 7 and I am from Kiribadgoda branch. Okay, and uh, what is the experiment you are going to perform with us today? Uh, my experiment is rusting experiment. Oh, okay. So, um, where did you get all the resources for this experiment? From pharmacies and from bookshops. Bookshops, right. So, uh, why did you do this experiment? Was it, a school, was it a school project or you wanted to do it for fun? Uh, it's a school project. Our school teacher told to do an experiment based on our lessons. So, uh, basically, Agidma's experiment today is about rusting. And rusting or rust forms from a process called corrosion. And basically, corrosion with regards to iron or its alloys is what rusting is. So, uh, basically, iron reacts with moist air in the presence of oxygen to form iron 3 oxide and iron oxide hydroxide. And so rust gets its unique color from iron 3 plus ions present in rust. Okay, Nanga, so can you explain us uh, what are the uh, precautions or what are the factors that cause corrosion? What are the factors that cause corrosion? Water, air and some acidic substances. So what are the precautions that we can take uh, to protect surfaces from uh, corrosion or rusting? The metal can be painted or the metal can be galvanized. So, just to uh, clear a common misconception, corrosion is the process of a metal uh, reacting in the presence of moisture and rusting is not the same as corrosion. Rusting is when corrosion happens in iron specifically. And so, just like she said, rusting can be prevented. Protection can be done using painting or galvanizing. And this is very important because a lot of big and important structures are made from iron and the lifetime of these structures are threatened by uh, rusting and corrosion. Also, uh, corrosion is uh, speed, uh, like sped up you, uh, in the presence of oxygen, salt and uh, acid as Nagi explained to us. Uh, so Nagi, can you... Uh, show us how you do this experiment and explain us uh, the principles behind it. Uh, we need water and air for rusting and the rusting will be so fast if we use salt. Okay, so what do we have in this test tube? Uh, in the first test tube we have only distilled water. And uh, in this test tube what in do we have? In the second test tube we have sodium chloride and distilled water. Distilled water. And here in this third one? In that we have freshly boiled distilled water and edible oil. And in this one? In the fourth test tube I have silica. silica. And Nanga, why, uh, why do we use silica? Uh, we use it as a replacement uh, instead of calcium chloride. chloride. So Akidma, uh, show us what you use for, uh, to make this experiment and uh, explain us what, why we use them. We need four test tubes, four stoppers, four nails, a beaker, a funnel, edible oil, freshly boiled distilled water, distilled water, silica, a funnel, a pipette, a glass rod, a spatula spoon and sodium chloride. chloride. Now Akitma will show us uh, how to do this experiment and uh, we'll see how we can do it. 
Uh, so we have to start with uh, first test. the first test tube. Yeah. So what do we need to put to the first test tube? We need to put distilled water. And the nail, right? Yeah. So we need to use the funnel to put yeah. distilled water. So guys, apparently when you put distilled water, there is going to be air also mixed with this. So we have to use the stopper yeah. to close it. Close. Right, so this is our first uh, test tube with distilled water and the nail. So what do we need to uh, put to the second one? We need to put distilled water and some sodium chloride and the nail. Okay, so first of all, we, we have need to, to mix pre it. prepare. Okay. Yeah. For preparation of sodium chloride solution, you need sodium chloride uh, crystal powder yeah. and uh, distilled distil water. water. And we need to use a glass rod. Yes. To mix it. Mix it. Okay. Right, so shall we start? Okay. Yes. So and we need to use the spatula. Spatula spoon to put sodium chloride. Now we need to put distilled water. Now we need to use the glass rod to mix them. Yes. So this is the sodium chloride solution, right? Yeah. Okay. So now what do you need to put for the second one? Now we need to put this solution for the second test tube with the help of this funnel. Now we need to close put, it. Put the second nail yes. and then close. Using the stopper. Yes. So now we are going to do the third one, right? Yes. Uh, what do we need to put for the third one? First we need to place the nail and after that we want to add distilled water and we need to add uh, edible oil. Freshly boiled uh, yeah. distilled water, right? Eh? Yes. We can apply it with the help of this funnel. And we need to add edible oil with the help of the pipette. And the stopper. Yes. And for the fourth and final one? We need to apply only silica. Silica and the, and the nail. nail. This is silica. Yes. Uh, we need to add it with the help of the spatula spoon. And we need to close it with the stove. So, uh, can, Nanga, can you explain us the conclusions of your experiment? Yes, after three days we can see the conclusions. In the first test tube, the nail was contacted with water and air. And the second test tube also, the nail was contacted with water and air. In the third test tube, the nail was only contacted with water, there is no air. In the fourth test tube, the nail was contacted not with any water or air. Oh, so uh, there was no air at all? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, 
So we can see the results of this experiment after three days. Yes. Okay. So today in our third episode, we had an experiment done by one of our fellow students from OKI Kiribati Goda about rusting, and uh, this experiment will actually help us to understand a lot of uh, the corrosion and all this corrosion that happens and how it's been affected by environmental uh, conditions. So uh, I hope you all learned something from this uh, video and I hope you will also give a try to uh, do some of these trusting experiments at home and, uh, and I hope you learn something uh, important to your life. If you like this video, give us a like and, uh, and a comment and if you like content like this, you can subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you get a notification when, as soon as we upload more content like this. Thanks again and uh, see you in another video.